Welcome to Slash Bash, where today I am bringing you another Entitled Parents Reddit video. Entitled Parent thinks I'm a free babysitter and potential kidnapper. This happened a few months ago. I work in a restaurant and always love when kids come in. I'm good with kids and if they're happy, the parents are happy and my job is easier. The restaurant has an open kitchen so you can see the chefs from the seating area. Usually, kids wave and say thank you to the kitchen staff and it's really pleasant to see well-mannered children. As you can probably guess, we deal with a lot of Karens and Karen bred children. You can see them coming a mile off and I make the extra effort to ensure they have little to complain about. Thankfully, my boss has little time for these people and allows us to be firm when telling them to politely piss off if they start kicking up a fuss. I was having an otherwise pleasant day before I heard the boss music and turned to see a short-tempered woman dragging her angel child into the restaurant. And if you're good and eat your food, the lady will get you a treat. Oh, she's looking at you now. You better behave. I hate being used as a threat to discipline children. They had an uneventful lunch. Aside from a few extra requests and allergen warnings, she wasn't the worst person I've dealt with. Until she wanted to have her cappuccino and brownie in peace while she took a work call. She was gluten-free and vegan during lunch, but that had changed by dessert. You go play with the lady while mommy's on the phone. I'll go get you some coloring to do. Would you like that? No, mommy, I don't want to color. I want to play with the lady. I'm a little busy right now, obviously, but I'd really like if you could draw me a picture. I was doing everything in my power to get the kid to sit still so the ma'am could do whatever she needed, but that wasn't enough. She decides it's actually her restaurant. I wasn't aware my boss had quit and direct conversation to her child instead of me. The lady is busy. Maybe you can help her. The child, bless him, proceeds to take his empty plate and make a run for the kitchen to help the lady clean up. The mother took her phone call and I took on a second job as a babysitter. Good for me, a promotion. I stopped the child before he could get past the barista counter and into the kitchen. Well, if his wail wasn't ear piercing. I tried to explain that it's dangerous in there and the chefs are very busy making other people's food. He was having none of it. Red-faced and feet stomping, he throws the plate on the floor and breaks it. At this point, the absolute daggers I was getting from my boss, the head chef, put a bigger fear in me than this lady's bad Facebook review. I tried to get the kid to return to the table in a fashion similar to herding cattle. After he broke free a couple of times zigzagging around the restaurant, knocking over plants, pulling napkins that were folded on the station, pushing menus onto the ground and playing with sugar bowls on empty tables, I reluctantly took him by the hand back to his mother. She looked up from her phone call, clearly angry that the child was being returned to her and began to go off on me for touching her child, something I avoid doing for obvious reasons. I tried to explain that I'm not a babysitter, I have a job to do, your child could get hurt, blah blah blah. I was even being nice, not mentioning the havoc he was wreaking and that she was clearly ignoring. Besides the fact, during COVID, we tried to limit how much customers move around the restaurant, let alone sticking your grubby fingers into sugar bowls. He's only playing. You're not that busy. He's fine. I'm watching him. He just wants to see the chefs. Why wouldn't you just let him play? He's not harming anyone, except for everyone trying to enjoy their food. Who gives you the right to parent my child? Um, you did actually, when you put him in my care 10 minutes ago. All this while rocking the child on her lap and petting his head while he continues to wail over not getting his way. Oh, the lady is so mean, isn't she? Yeah, she's just a big meanie. Don't cry, it's okay. My favorite line that flew past me during the exchange was, how dare you touch him? How traumatizing it must have been for him that I stopped his path of destruction. The incoherent conversation ended with her somehow twisting it into a free meal. I explained how not only is that not going to happen, but she should pay for the plate her child broke. Petty, yes, but I wanted something to come back at her with. 
She took it so far as to try to approach the kitchen herself on the way out to speak to the owner, something I actually would have welcomed, but I decided she had taken up enough of our time and had caused enough of a scene. I lied and said the owner was not here, so she can call and complain about me tomorrow all she wanted. I directed her to the till and gave her the bill. After seeing no discount on the bill, she threatened to call the police for touching her child? Jesus, I wasn't leading him up the road with a trail of candy. And I threatened the same back for theft if she walked out without paying. After a few minutes of being berated over being a heartless person who hates to see a child playing happily, eventually she paid and promised she'd never give us any more business. Great! Can't say I'm sorry. Take your unfortunate spawn to the next victim. Fine by me. I have many more stories of entitled parents in restaurants. One of my favorites is being reprimanded for not giving a child my shoe to play with. My shoe! That I was currently using to, I don't know, walk in? The accusations and complaints these people will reach to appease their spawns or get a discount on a coffee is hilarious. Entitled Parent Parks and Handicap Spot So this happened a few weeks ago and it made me super mad and I just thought about it again. My husband and I went out for Sunday brunch a few weeks ago to a pretty popular restaurant. We had meant to arrive around 8am but we ended up running late and not getting there until 10am. It was packed as we expected. The entire parking lot was jam packed and there were very few places to park. As I'm driving through the rows, a white minivan zooms past me. The driver makes eye contact and smirks, then cuts me off and pulls into a handicapped parking spot. I think to myself, wow, what an a-hole, but it got worse. I ended up driving all the way to the back of the parking lot about six rows away to find a spot. When I looked over at the white minivan, I saw it was a dad getting about four or five children out of his car. As I walked past his car, I noticed there was absolutely no handicap sticker. Nothing on the license plate and nothing hanging from his rear view mirror indicating that it was a handicapped driver. Though of course, me being my petty self, I decided to call the town's non-emergency police line and notify them. I gave them the license plate number and name of the restaurant where we were. After waiting about 30 minutes for a table, we see a police officer pull into the parking lot, right behind this guy's car. And of course, he gets out, checks the license plate and the front rearview mirror, sees no indication that it's a handicapped car, and gets out a notepad and proceeds to write a ticket. All of a sudden, the guy that owns the car goes running from his table outside to confront the officer. He's yelling loud enough that I definitely heard, well, I parked here because I have five children to get out of the car. The cop shrugs and shakes his head and hands him the ticket. Then he gets back in his car and leaves. The entitled dad comes back in, red-faced and furious. They quickly finished their breakfast and left. As I exited the restaurant, I looked at the handicapped parking sign and underneath it said, $500 fine. I might be heartless, but that made my day. This is John from Slash Bash. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video and want to be the first to know when the next one drops, then subscribe and click on that notifications bell so that YouTube will actually, you know, recommend it to you. I'd love for you to drop a like, share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.